Okay, so here we have a fun question asking what is one half of two to the sixth? Let's just look at the pattern here. If we have two to the first, that's two. And two squared is four. Two to the third is eight. Two to the fourth is 16. And two to the fifth is 32. And then we'll stop at the next one. Two to the sixth is 64. Now you don't have to do this, but um, the idea is that every time you have 2 to the x power, 2 to the x plus 1. In other words, 1 greater power of 2 means you have another 2 that you're multiplying by, which means your number will be twice as large. This doubles. So you double with each power of 2. And that's what we're saying here, isn't it? I mean, if you look at... Oops, I fixed that. If you look at this, 2 to the first is 2. Add 1, right, x plus 1, we have 2 here in our, our exponent, and we've doubled from 2 to 4. Add another 1, and we add, it means we add another power of 2, we double again. And another power of 1, we keep doubling. Every time you increase the power by 1, you double your number. So here, what's the reverse of doubling? Well, if you take a number and go in one direction, you double it. That means times 2. But if you want to reverse that process, you divide by 2. That's called halving. So halving and doubling are opposites. Now, in this question, they're saying, what is 1 half of 2 to the 6? Well, if you look at our pattern, every time we go back once or decrease our exponent by 1, our number is cut in half, right? All the way down here in this pattern until we reach 2. So if we have, um, let's say, 2 to the 5th, and we double it, we get 2 to the 6th. But if we start at 2 to the 6th and we half it, we go back to 2 and 2 to the 5th. So here the answer is 4. But if this, is, if, if this solution is not working for you, right, another way to think about it is that, oh yeah, every time you divide by 2, you half a number. So 2 to the 6th divided by 2 to the 5th is 2 to the 6th minus 5, which is 2 to the 1. This is a basic law of exponents rule, which says that if you have two numbers, right, same, same base, so here the base is 2, and you have different exponents, a and b, and you're dividing, you can just subtract the exponents. So that might help you in this one as well. Thanks.